I did it again. I played against Square Master Hikaru Nakamura. I beat him once. What? <laughs> it's time for another game. Uh, Hikaru again. Game started with e4, c5, knight c3, d6, f4, knight on f6, knight f3, and e6. E6 was mistake here. This was bullet game, so it's common to make this kind of mistakes. Instead of e6, it would be much better either to play knight c6 or g6, just simply to develop your piece like that. e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, and knight c6. Knight c6 is also a good move. It was also possible to play a6, bishop b7, etc. Knight c6, bishop b3, and bishop b7. I'm doing okay. Even though my opponent has slightly better position, it's still fine. Queen on f3 and castle. I played against Hikaru a few times in bullet brawl, and he often plays that. And castle, a6. a6 was mistake here. Instead of a6, it would be much better to play queen c7, just develop my queen, or just play here knight d4 and trade these strong knights on d4. I played a6, I just didn't want him to play knight b5 after I would play queen c7. g4, which is mistake here. Instead of g4, it would be just better to play e5, as I can't take on e5 because I'm just losing after knight c6, and Hikaru would get whole center, but he played here g4. It is mistake. After g4, I played queen c7, another mistake. Instead of queen c7, it would be better to trade again this strong knight, and then push e5. If he would take on bishop on d4, which would be a mistake, here would be e5, and if he takes, there is bishop g4, and a winning exchange, or if he just moves the bishop, now this pawn is hanging, or g5 here, I'm just going to take, so that's a win. So that's why he would take with rook, and I would still play either e5 or knight d7, I deal bishop on f6, and I'm doing great here. But I played queen c7, mistake which allowed Hikaru to push g4 pawn to g5. Of course, Hikaru has big uh, advantage here because these pawns are attacking my king. He can play next rook g1, h4, etc. And that's uh, white's plan to attack my king. And I can't do anything here yet because my pieces are passive and my goal is to start attacking on king side. He pushes f5. It was too early. It would be much better first to play rook g1 to prepare this rook into attack then I deal h4, bishop on h3. Instead of f5, it would be much better to play rook g1. f5 and knight on e5. Another mistake. Again, here I could take with knight and uh, just trade this strong knight on d4. But I played knight d5 and he played queen g3, strong move. And I finally traded this knight and I took on f5, which is mistake because it gives white knight on d5 square and attacking my queen or bishop. So it was mistake. Instead of that, would be just probably much better to play king on h8 to avoid this queen with g file. I still have worse position, but it would be better. I took, he played strong move knight on d5 and queen d8. And he took on e5. This is better because I wanted this strong bishop d4 to be traded. But he had better move like h4 to attack my king and play bishop h3. And then rook d g1. So he took on e5. I took a knight on f6. Here, even though he gets queen after bishop on f6, rook d8 and bishop d8, I have rook and bishop and pawn against his queen. So I'm doing great here from the position I got before. Now it's really good for me. And thankfully, I could take rook with bishop because if I would take with rook, I'm just simply losing peace. I took with bishop on d8 and he took on e5. Another mistake. Would be again better to play h4 to somehow again attack my king and do all of this bishop. And I took with bishop and he played bishop g2. Another mistake. Would be also again great to play h4. Because if he does not start attacking here, I just getting equal position, which happened. Bishop g2 and rook b8. But this was a mistake. Instead of rook b8, it would be much better to play rook c8, taking this c file and attack pawn on c2. And now I can even get slightly better position and he would be forced to play c3 and push e4, ideal bishop c7. But I played rook b8 and he took on e5. Another mistake. It's not good to take on e5 because I can just simply take this pawn. Just bishop d5 in order to attack this pawn 
would be great taking this center. I can't play bishop e6 because this is literally lost for me as this pawn is hanging. So taking whole center would be better for Hikaru. He took on e5 with queen and I played bishop g5. Now I'm doing great. I have extra pawn and he's forced to play king b1 and only move is g6. If I will not play g6, move one of those bishops and then I would lose a bishop. So g6 is only move to protect these both bishops. Queen g3 is mistake. Just rook on f1 would be great. Queen g3 and bishop on f6. Rook on f1 and I played king on h8. Idea of rook on f1 was to take this bishop. But instead of king on h8, bishop g7 would be a great move. Because he can't take it. I would just simply play a good move. King on h8 and he still sacrificed exchange. I took and queen d6 and bishop g7. I'm already doing great. I have two rooks now against queen and extra pawn. This king might be weak. Rook d8 chances are here. So that's why it's equal position for me. And the position I got before from that I'm doing great. Queen on f4 and rook bd8. Instead of rook bd8, it would be much better to play rook b8. Idea of bishop b5 and attack this queen. But I played rook bd8 and bishop on f3. Another mistake. For him, he should have just played a3 simply to develop this king and not to have any threats on back rank. Bishop on f3 and rook e8. I want to develop my pieces. a3 and rook e1. Just wanted to activate my rooks. And rook on f1, which was a mistake. Here he should have played queen c7 and take one of those pawns, uh, take with bishop, etc. And now I'm just simply losing this game. So he did not see that and he took on f5, which led me to play rook on f2. Queen on e4, h6. I just want to save my king. Bishop g4, rook d2. There is no checks, thankfully, because after queen e8, here's king on h7. That was the idea of h6. Bishop f5, bishop f6, queen e8, king g7. Here, it's totally equal position. He can just go back with queen on e3, and it would be a draw. But he blundered here, bishop d3. And now, it's a blunder because after I took, which is brilliant move, he can't take because here is rook b2 and then rook e2 and I'm just simply winning this queen on e8. This will be perfect, but he did not do that. And he played queen on e4 and I played rook d2 and now he played queen g4. I played king on f8, queen c8, king g7, queen g4, again king on f8, queen c8, king g7, queen g4 and it's a draw. Well, of course, I am winning this game. After bishop g5, I'm winning. Because if he plays h4, there's rook g2. And if queen on e4, there's bishop on f6. And these pawns are already hanging. And if he tries to protect with king, I can just simply take. He's forced to take, take, take. And I will just simply take. And now I have two pawns and bishop. And this set game is absolutely winning. Like and subscribe.